Brooklyn Independent Television. And now I'm pleased to report that Rana Natur, a neighborhood beat correspondent, is going to give us some very interesting insights into Arab culture here in Bay Ridge. Uh, first, she's going to stop here at the Tannerine, where our hosts are Rawia and Yumana Bashara. And then she'll talk with Emir Al Safal, a musician. My upbringing in Palestine was the most beautiful memories anybody can ever have. I came from a very happy home, two working parents. We opened Tenery 14 years ago. I had a mom that was one of the best cooks ever. When she passed away, I promised myself that I'm going to honor her by opening a restaurant and spreading her recipes around. If you see like on our website, we have three pictures. It's of myself, my mother, and my grandmother. So that's a very important sort of thread in, in the business as well. We are Americans, we live here, but at the same time, we have something in the background to make us who we are. Bay Ridge is culturally very rich from the Arab standpoint. Um, Fifth Avenue, for instance, uh, is full of Arab restaurants, grocery stores, there are several mosques, and then of course the coffee houses that, that people smoke, argile. So I enjoy feeling at home and feeling connected to Arab culture in that area more than anywhere else. Yeah, so, so and this is called Hajaz Methnawi. Today's class is uh, Iraqi maqam repertoire and variation. Maqam in Iraq essentially refers to these compositions that are um, semi-improvised, semi-composed. The idea being that you, you learn the basic structure, you learn the basic melodies and how to sing them, and then after some time when they become internalized, you kind of create your own approach to them. It's generally sung and it's usually to um, classical or uh, poetry in Iraqi dialect. My name is Ramzi Adlibi. I'm a dancer and dance teacher. We offer dance class every week, and we go through dances from the Middle East and North Africa. From Lebanon and Syria, we have dance called Debki. From North Africa, we have a dance called Shabi. From Yemen, we have a dance called Lahgi. Next to the dance, I teach rhythm too. So the students bring with them a drum. There is a dilemma with Arab Americans in the United States, um, and I see it a lot in Bay Ridge, where people are sort of between these two cultures that in some ways are complementary, but in many ways are contradictory, and they're sort of caught, and, and people respond either by becoming very strongly conservative and holding on to their home culture, or going the other way and just in complete denial of, of where they're coming from. So I think there has to be a way to find a balance. And I think that through cultural awareness, people can have a lot more to be proud of and a lot more to own as Arabs. Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge is small and everybody knows everybody. Especially when you're a business, let's say, on the avenue. There's a certain familiarity when you go into places and when people come into your place that makes it feel like it's a village. A lot of people told me, you cannot move your kitchen from 8901 to 3rd Avenue and think you're going to create a business. People love to eat and they love to eat good food. It doesn't matter where it comes from. We are here with Rawi Bishara and she's going to show us how to make maklubi. Maklubi is um, a very traditional Palestinian dish. You can do it with lamb shank, you can do it with leg of lamb, with goat meat, with chicken, but you can do it vegetarian too. So we're going to assemble the maklubi. We do the carrots. You try to do it like a flower inside. The carrots will get the spices from the broth and the vegetable. We do this so this can avoid getting burned. Then we put all the onions. Now we do the lamb shank. And then I prefer putting the vegetable after because you don't want the vegetables to get burned. And the last one is the rice. It's half cooked already. This all smells very good. Okay, way. and now what you need to do is you need to press a little bit. We add the rest of the broth. You can see the color of the broth, how dark it is. 
and you put it in the stove only for like 20 minutes. Turn it like this, you do this. You do it in stages. In case something is stuck in the bottom, you take it out. This is roasted pinoli nuts and roasted slivered almonds. We serve this dish with salad. And we make our own yogurt and we put with it cucumber and mint and garlic. And pickles are great with matlubi too. Speaking as an Arab American, there have been generations of Syrian and Lebanese Americans in this neighborhood, in addition to the Scandinavians, the Irish, the Italians, Asians, and the communities get bigger. It's a very good residential area. It was a good area to raise up my kids, and I like this place better than any other. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.